Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I'd like to talk to you about a Mac Photo Link. Now we've had the Windows Photo Link for quite a while, but just recently uh, decided to add Mac to the to the lineup. So the first thing you need to know about the link is that it's a little different than the PC link in that it calls the Mac software directly. And um, the other thing you need to know is that the, in um, the Creative Cloud, you have two Lightrooms. You have Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Lightroom Classic. You have to use the Classic one. And that is because the Lightroom only allows you to talk to, to Photoshop. Whereas the Lightroom Classic allows you to configure your own editor. Now, the other thing you need to know is that you need to download Green Screen Wizard 11.5. Uh, you can just download the latest demo and that should do it. Uh, and uh, or any subsequent, you know, version 12, 13 or whatever. But anyways, uh, Yes, you should download the latest and greatest software in order to have this link uh, function properly. So activating the link is actually pretty simple. You go to Start Lightroom Classic. And then you go to Lightroom Classic Preferences. Now in some of the older versions, the Preferences was under File, but it's the same idea. Go for Preferences, and we're going to create an external editor. So the first thing we do is we choose a program. In this case, we're just going to choose Green Screen Wizard itself. And really, that's all you need to do. I think most of the defaults are as shown. The only one that's really important is that you have to have 8 bits, not 16 bits for Green Screen Wizard. Next thing you need to do is you need to name it. So we're going to save this as a new preset. And we're going to create it as Green Screen Wizard. So that's all there is to uh, setting it up. Now to use it, you right click over the uh, image you want to edit. And you can edit in Green Screen Wizard or you can just click there. You can choose to edit um, with Lightroom adjustments or just edit a copy of the original file. And there you are. So now you can do anything that you would normally do in, in uh, Green Screen Wizard. You can pull up the Airbrush Editor and edit it. to show you that it works. And you'll notice that it doesn't say save anymore. It says return to Lightroom. So you click return to Lightroom and there you go. With your edits and everything in place. Now you can always turn off green screening and just use Green Screen Wizard as an editor. Um, if you want to return to Green Screen Wizard the second time, it doesn't start Green Screen Wizard. It'll go to uh, a Green Screen Wizard that's already been loaded. So we say edit in green screen wizard and let's change the background because he really likes kind of the rock wall. Turn to Lightroom and that's really all there is to it. Pretty simple but pretty powerful. Um, now I'm running on a new, the new Mac Silicon so uh, things might be a little slower on your machine but hopefully everything will work fine. If if you have any problems with it, uh, just send uh, an email to support at Green Screen Wizard. So once again, download Green Screen Wizard 11.5 on the Mac and make sure that you use Lightroom Classic. I hope you enjoy this new feature of Green Screen Wizard. Thank you very much.